morning everybody, it's Brett here, Line Art 84, I hope you're going to be able to hear me, um, I haven't got a remote mic so uh, I'm just hoping that there's not too much background noise. I just wanted to talk today very quickly about um, how I, as 95% of my fruit trees are in containers, I just wanted to talk about how I stop them getting waterlogged uh, with the heavy rainfall we get all through winter and frankly sometimes a lot of rain in summer as well. Um, this doesn't necessarily apply to a dry climate and it doesn't necessarily apply if you stand the pots in different conditions to me but this is the system I use. Basically uh, I, I prefer to use um, trays underneath the plants with gravels now uh, with gravel in them. Now it will tend to depend on what medium you actually stand your fruit trees on. For example, um, if you've got, uh, if you stand your fruit tree containers on a hard surface like concrete or paving stones or something along those lines, you would probably do this completely differently. Now in that scenario, the traditional method in the container growing is to put your drainage material in the bottom of the pot. So with these large containers you could have two or three inches of drainage material in the pot and that would then stand on the concrete and obviously if you had had a large amount of rain or water the pots would simply, the water would drain through the drainage stones onto the concrete and flow away. Now I'm a little bit different how I grow my plants here. I'm going to show you this one because all of my plants are standing on a bark surface that has soil underneath it. Now, you could obviously just stand the plant on the soil like that, but that has a number of disadvantages for me personally. Um, one of them is obviously any amount of bugs or insects that aren't desirable could spread from the ground up into the pots. But the main problem I've got is obviously it's not, it won't be long before the trees root through the bottom of the pot and root into the ground. Now that's fine if you're planning to leave them in one place forever, but in no time at all the plants wouldn't be mobile and you couldn't reposition them or move them for access or move them to a different part of the garden. So I don't want my trees standing actually on the ground because once they've rooted in place, you're not going to be able to get them up and, and the other problem is obviously if you do try and remove them you're going to have to break all the roots uh, which will probably damage the tree uh, fatally in some cases so I've you decided to take a different system to growing my trees it makes them easy to move around and maintain them and repot them and move them to a different position to reprune them and that's I like to grow them all on trays now the traditional method obviously of growing a tray is to simply put the tray underneath the plant, put the pot in it and away you go. Now the disadvantage that has in our climate, especially in winter when you have large amounts of water, is that it's been raining frankly permanently for the last month. So if you can imagine, if we use this, we pull this water into here, into the tray, Once that tray is full, the plant is permanently sitting in two inches of water and that means that the soil very quickly becomes waterlogged and you will have trees, especially ones that are dormant, with their root systems permanently soaking wet if you get a lot of rain. Obviously it's not a problem if, um, if you have a long dry spell and it may well be in summer that it suits you to have the plants like this. I mean, for example, if I'm going, uh, if I was going away for a week or two, I'd be quite happy to give the plants a good watering, leave them in the tray, and then if it didn't rain for that week or two, you're away, they would have a water reservoir. But my preferred method, <coughs> especially in winter, and when there's continuous heavy rain, I'm going to show you with this pot here, is is to fill the tray up with a coarse gravel and stand the pot on top. Now the main advantage that has, and obviously I can transfer the water over to this one, probably not most professionally done, is once the, because the gravel 
I keep the gravel up to the level of the top level of the tray. So no matter how much rain I get, once the water reaches the top of the tray where the gravel is, it flows over the edge and the pot itself is not standing in water at all, no wet feet. Now all that will tend to happen is obviously if I get a long period of dry weather I might decide to move the gravel from the trays so that the pots can actually stand in water to keep them more wetter for longer but for all of winter like every plant here I've got standing on gravel um, and that it stops them getting waterlogged because no matter how much it rains the rain will always overflow the edge of the tray at the top of the gravel which means the pot is never sitting in water it's always sitting on top of the gravel that also tends to cut down the amount of undesirable insects and bugs that can spread into the pot and what you will find is most plants and, and the fruit trees as well tend to develop uh, what I would call water roots so they some of the roots will find their way down into the gravel so in times of uh, water shortage the roots will actually use any water that's sitting in the uh, in, in the actual gravel reservoir underneath and obviously once the water's dried out that's dried out but they will find any extra water in here and spread and you can it will also tell you when the plot part's getting too uh, pot bound because you can lift the pot up you will see how many roots there are growing down into the gravel and it will tell you it's time for either a root trimming or a repot into a larger pot so that's my preferred method because I'm growing my my trees are all standing on uh, bark which is on compost and as I said I don't want them rooting into the ground because I need them to be mobile but that is just my personal preference clearly uh, clearly it, it, depending on where you're growing them and your climate and whether you have heavy or low rainfall this might not work for you so I'm not suggesting it's everyone's answer but for me I like to have them standing on gravel it keeps the pots clean, it stops them getting waterlogged, it will allows me to check whether the roots are coming out the bottom of the pot and the plant needs repotting, um, it looks attractive and also in dry, when dry weather conditions it does increase the humidity a little bit about the, for, about the plants as well, especially my tropical ones when I put them outside for the summer it increases humidity around them. So that's my preferred method for growing my fruit trees in containers it may not work for you but it looks nice and it stops getting waterlogged in winter all of my trees here the soil's wet obviously it's raining all the time but they're not actually standing in water which can cause all sorts of damage to the roots so um, hopefully this tip might if this tips prove useful for one person out of a hundred then the video served its purpose anyway it's Brett out for now thanks for watching um, again you're welcome to share the video if you know anybody who might be interested welcome to like the video if it's of any use to you uh, you can subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already and hit the bell for to receive any future notifications um, of videos I put up which uh, may or may not be of interest to you Thanks for watching, that's uh, me out for now.